Once again, senseless, deadly violence all across three Mid-South states over the last 24 hours. Police in Memphis, South Haven and West Memphis now investigating three separate incidents. So we're going to start here in Memphis, Southeast Memphis in particular, where we're learning new information about that Thursday afternoon police chase that ended in a deadly crash that's now claimed three lives in Southeast Memphis. Action News 5's Imani Williams joins us live now with details and Imani, what are community members saying tonight? Hey Joe, well, I'm out here at the intersection of Knight Arnold and Hickory Hill. It is a busy intersection and that's what people were telling me that I spoke with today. They said it's a busy intersection and they also told me that it's normal for them to see crashes, police chases and crime in general. And they said, although it's normal, it needs to stop. That was a chase. I did not deserve it. This man, this man run in front of police, damn near hit us. Six people were injured, including a Memphis police officer, and three people died after a police chase Thursday night in Southeast Memphis. It was a scene that some residents say they see all too often. It seems like it's just a norm now, and I hate that. I really do. A police report reveals the details before the chase started. According to the report, six cars were broken into at CES Power on Air Center Cove. Four guns, a MacBook, and a backpack were stolen from the vehicles. One of the victims said he saw three black men breaking into cars. One of the suspects then pointed a gun at a victim, causing him to drop to the ground for safety. He said he saw them drive off in a black Chrysler 300. The same one police tried to stop moments later. It's getting to the point now, they just sneaking out get into trouble. I feel like if you want to be bold enough to steal and stuff, you got to handle the consequences as well. Residents still reeling from the incident. Many of them say something has to change. Other innocent people that are, that's not even involved is getting hurt because of the situations and the action that's coming behind it. Now, the Tennessee Highway Patrol and MPD were at this intersection earlier today. Continuing their investigation, THB has not released the identities of those who were involved. Reporting live in Southeast Memphis, Imani Williams, Action News 5.